Hey everyone, this is Sean and welcome back to my channel. Press the like button if you like this video or you think you're gonna like it. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed so you don't miss an important video. And if you've been subscribed, thank you so much for being one of my over 2,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what you should do or what you could do as a private security officer, whether you're armed or unarmed, if somebody puts a gun to their head on your post. On, your, on the property that you're contracted to protect. And I'm so interested in hearing the dialogue. I wanna hear what you guys' opinions are. I don't, I don't have the right answers every single time. Maybe not even most of the time. But this is a community of knowledge and I'm really interested in seeing what you guys have to say. And other people are interested in seeing what other people would do in this circumstance. Um, I'm gonna to present to you this CERT training pistol. Okay, this is not a real gun, you guys. This is, I, I have to do this for the YouTube analyst that goes over the videos. A video like this would amount to a demonetization of, of, of everything in this video. So uh, they'll probably be reviewing this. This is not a real gun, okay? I, re I, I removed this fake magazine. Look it, it's not even a real magazine. You can't even put bullets in here. I mean, this isn't a bullet, but chapstick, but look, you, can't put nothing in here. It just, it's just it's just a piece of plastic. It goes in here. You could drop it out, but there's nothing. This is, this, is, this is a fake simulated handgun pistol. Look at the slide doesn't even go back. It's not real. Look at it shoots out a laser beam. Okay, this this is not real. So wh what do you do, guys? You're on proper. You're on patrol one day. Answer, I wanna know what your answers are if you're armed. I wanna know what your answers are if you're unarmed. And some person just randomly just jumps in front of your patrol car or golf cart or down the hallway of the apartment complex or motel, hotel, wherever you can, wherever you you patrol and they have a gun to the head. And I'm not gonna put this to my head. I, I don't want YouTube to say that I'm committing a dangerous act, but imagine this is to the head. What do you do? Now, it is clearly established case law for law enforcement that if somebody is only a danger to themselves and you use deadly force, you're not gonna be justified. And private security should, should heal to that standard. Um, you, you don't take someone's life because they wanna take their own. It doesn't work that way. You're gonna end up in prison for a very long time, you guys, maybe even a death chamber. Don't pull the trigger on a human being who is only He's only hell-bent on taking their own life, okay? They have the gun in their head. Um, you gotta be really cautious. Now, I uh, do understand that there's those who will fake their intentions. So what's to say that they can go from this to this? Okay, or this to this, to you, in a matter of seconds. Look, time it, okay? I am planning on taking my own life, now yours. Look how fast it is. You turn around one second, you turn around one second or even a half a second, it's on you. So this video doesn't include really somebody who is hell bent on shooting you. I mean, normally they'll, they'll point it at you, but you have to be prepared to address a threat. So if this person goes like this, so I'm suicidal, now I'm homicidal in a matter of half of a second, splits of a second. How do you react to that? And that's what we need to discuss. So what I discuss in my video may or may not be my plan in a real life situation. And that's just because facts change every day, every time. There's, there's not every incident that's gonna be exactly the same. So this is, these are my considerations. If the gun goes from here, orients my direction, that's it. That's it for that person. You cannot communicate with somebody if the barrel or the muzzle is facing your direction. It's very difficult to communicate. Um, that person needs to be stopped. And it's possibly, it, this, was, this was possibly a suicide by cop incident. In another video, I, I coined the term suicide by security. Um, but if they're just like this, guys, okay, I, I and I do understand they can go from here to here, but you have to read their body language. And if you are gonna pull the trigger, you need to be able to justify your actions. Um, I've had quite a, I had a couple of people 
um, attempt suicide by cop on me. Not suicide by security, but suicide by, by cop. Uh, it was about my first month or second month as a police officer back in 2002. Um, a guy was reaching for, I think it was a 32 caliber. He had a bunch of weapons laid out on his trunk. Uh, when I saw him, he dumped, he dumped the fully loaded shotgun in the trash can. Um, as, he reached for that, as he reached for that gun, he actually started looking at me and grinning, smiling. Um, you're gonna you're gonna know for the most part whether this person is going to be suicidal or homicidal based on their body language based on what they do okay um, just 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 realize that you guys communication is the key if they're like this it is difficult to communicate with somebody with a loaded gun that has a gun to their temple to gun to their head it's difficult first you obviously want to call 911 let them know what you have um, but before you, before you do that, go to a position of cover where you can safely observe the situation unfold. When you go to a position of cover, you're basically looking for an area, maybe a structure, um, a, a, a large tree, something that can possibly prevent a bullet from passing through and hitting you. If there's nothing else, then you can go to a position of concealment. Position of concealment would be a bush with a bunch of shrubs around it. Um, it's not going to stop the bullet, but it would conceal you to the point that the that the person with the gun is going to have a dip, more difficult chance of, of hitting you. But go to position to cover, call 911, um, and start giving commands. Just let the person know who you are. Hey, I'm private security. My name is so-and-so. What is your name? Um, what's going on? Let's, let's talk. If you can get this person in, into talking... Um, you might have that opportunity to talk them into putting the gun down or putting putting the weapon down But you have to establish that dialogue It is my experience and my understanding that when you start giving them commands your commands of drop the gun drop the gun drop I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna blow your effing head off Okay, you start um, Yelling these 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 forceful commands It's gonna get the person more on edge and this person may feel like they're not able to communicate with you and they might end up pulling the trigger on themselves. Guys and gals, that's something awful. That that gun going off to someone's head it is an image that could, that's going to stick in your head your whole life. And you might be wondering throughout the years or you, you, every day you're going to think about, hey, is there something that I could have done differently? It's, it's a horrible feeling. Um, I, I often hear the saying of, I'm just a security guard. I'm here to observe and report. Well, sometimes you're more than that. You're the lifeline between this person pulling the trigger or this person walking away or going to somewhere where they can get that behavioral health help. They're in a crisis. And it's actually, in a way, it's a blessing that they saw you because you are the difference between whether they live or they die. And this sometimes, guys, uh, there's some people that they... They, they need that attention. They need that extra confirmation that they should kill themselves. But by you presenting yourself and communicating to them effectively, you're giving them another way out. There's other ways out for these, these people. And they just want that last chance. And that's why you're there as a private security officer. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this subject. I want to know what your tactics are. I want to know what strategies you would partake in if you are unarmed, whether you're armed. Uh, whether you have a partner, uh, would you just leave the scene? Would you set a perimeter? Would you evacuate nearby residents? But keep in mind, though, you start moving around evacuating, um, you might end up turning your back to this, this person that needs to have your attention so that this person can, can get the job done, whatever that might entail. You guys, be safe out there. Take care, and I'm looking forward to